Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to determine truth values for compound statements. As we saw in the last video, we have an introduction as to when compound statements are true and when they are false. So let's take a look at some examples. Okay, before we look at examples, let's just review when are compound statements true. So we're only talking about three different types of compound statements here. We're going to look at conjunctions, disjunctions, and negations. Um, there will be future videos on conditional statements, but we'll worry about that in the future. So a conjunction statement, remember that's of the form P and Q, and conjunction statements are true when both simple statements are true. So it requires true and true for a conjunction to be true. A disjunction, that's of the form P or Q, and a disjunction is true when either simple statement is true or when they are both true. So that's true or true, true or false, false or true. Any of those combinations would lead to a true disjunction. And the negation of a simple statement, so we would say not P is the notation for that, it's true when the simple statement is false. So it has the opposite truth value of the simple statement that it's negating. Okay, so here are some examples. Try to come up with the truth value for each one. So we have here what P is representing and what Q is representing and what R is representing. Decide whether each statement is true or false. So always I suggest pause the video, see what you come up with for these four examples, and then check back with me. I'm gonna go over each one separately. Okay, so if worse comes to worse and you don't even know what you're doing here, guess what? You have a 50-50 chance of being right. Either the statement is true or false. So if you put true for all four of them, well, probably half will be right. I don't know. Let's take a look at how you did. All right, first we have not Q or R. So we need to decide whether the statement is true or false. I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to look at my options here. So Q says that 3 is less than 7. That is a true statement. R represents 17 is less than 17. That is a false statement. Okay, but what else do I need? This one is asking for not Q. Well, if Q is true, then not Q is false. So this is false or false. A disjunction, now we need something to be true for a disjunction to be true, so false or false would yield a false disjunction. So this statement, not Q or R, is false in the context of what we were given. How about this one? Oh boy. So this one's like order of operations here. We're going to look at P and Q, and then we're going to negate whatever that truth value is. So P, negative 9 is greater than 5, is false. Q, 3 is less than 7, is true. So this is inside the parentheses is false and true. False and true, for a conjunction to be true, both parts need to be true. So this conjunction is false. So we would say not, and then we have a false statement. Well, the opposite of a false statement would be a true statement. So this would be true. Okay, in our next example, we've got a lot going on here. Let's see. So we need to look at a lot of things. We have P, Q, and R. We decided that P was false, Q is true, and R is false. So starting here, we have P or R. That is false or false false. False or false is false, but then it's asking for the negation of that. The negation of a false statement is a true statement. So this whole thing here is true, but we're not done yet. Now we have to conjunction this with the second piece. The second piece we have not Q, since Q is true, not Q is false, or not R, not false, is true. So false or true is true. So this is asking, is this a true statement? True and true, true and true is true. Yep, for the conjunction to be true, both pieces must be true and they both are. So this would be a true statement. And our last example, okay, so I'm just gonna write these over again just because I don't remember from slide to slide. This is false, Q is true and R is false. Not Q, so not Q is false because Q is true or and then what do we have here? Not P is true and R is false. This is a conjunction. The conjunction needs both par parts to be true. So this would be a false conjunction. So we have false or false. Oh dear. So this particular example leads us to a false. This is a false statement. 
These have been examples of looking at the truth values of compound statements. Thank you for stopping by.